Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Knife Legion. And today, let's play some The Long Dark. So, this is a new indie alpha access first person open world survival game. It's being developed by Hinterland. It was kickstarted a year or two ago. It's currently in early access, it's not released yet. But we play as a pilot who has crash landed in the Canadian wilderness following some sort of geomagnetic storm. We crashed, our plane just like crapped out on us completely. We crashed in the wilderness. And it seems that this may not just be a local event, this appears to be some kind of global disaster. And we need to survive in a very inhospitable landscape. As you can see it is the depths of winter, it is cold, it is icy, the lake's frozen over, and we are all on our own. So let's see, let's take a look. We found, what was this? This was a camp office, a Canadian flag flapping in the breeze. Okay, we're a little bit warmer for standing here, that's good. We're going the front door. This is the first time I've played the game, I haven't actually played it at all before, but it is very pretty. Look at that light beam coming in. That is awesome. Okay, so we are warmer in here than we were before. Okay, bottle of antiseptic. That could be useful. So, it's about 11 hours of daylight left. We can see what equipment we're carrying. We do have quite a lot of stuff on us. Matches. We're wearing a hat. It's got a fleece on us, a sewing kit. We're fairly well equipped. We've got some peaches and that. Let's see, we have survived for 29 minutes. We have 1900 calories on us. Calories are very important. We need to keep ourselves fed. Back door, first aid kit. Let's search that. I could use this. We could. Antibiotics, they would probably be pretty handy. And more antiseptic. Okay. Pretty cool. There's a uh, ooh matches, yeah, and accelerant. So a large part of this game it's survival. We need to keep ourselves warm in the winter wilderness. We need to keep ourselves fed. Ooh, a storm lantern, a hook. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff. You've got to check everything. Beef jerky, food. Food will be very important. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Newsprint. We'll take that. Anything on on the floor? I have seen a few people play the game, which is one of the reasons I picked it up in the Steam Summer Sale. Okay, filing cabinet to check. There's some stuff over here. A tin of coffee. Can opener, that's going to be useful. Candy bar. More peaches, they're cold. Is that it? No, there's one that's rolled under there. So you've got to check everywhere. Okay. Let's check out this filing cabinet. Gotta check each drawer individually. But the game does reward exploration. Nothing useful in there. Well, let's have a look upstairs. This is only the downstairs part. So we have to manage our first and our dehydration. There's a body here. A corpse. Okay, we're just gonna search it. We had a flare. That will be useful. A heavy wool sweater. That could be very useful. Our inventory is about half full at the moment. Anyways, we're literally taking the bodies off a corpse, but uh the clothes off a corpse, the bodies off a corpse. What am I talking about? Cargo pants could be useful. This game has a strong kind of project zomboid feel to it, despite the fact it is a very different style of game. No zombies. There is bears and wolves out there in the wilderness. But nothing else we need to fear immediately. Is there anything under these? There is. What's that? That looks like a magnifying glass. A magnifying lens that can be used to start a fire during daylight. That is cool. That is really cool. Uh, a book. Eventually a source of knowledge. For now, something to burn when you are freezing. Okay. Nothing else we can grab around here. We can check out this cupboard. 
Scrap metal. Pork and beans. That's good. Basic gloves. Okay. So we have found a large amount of stuff at the very start here. Let's see how we can go about equipping it. So we've got our log. Morning. Discovered camp office. Okay. Bedroll. Oh, I can lay the bedroll out. Can I lay it on the... Can I put the bedroll on the bed? It looks kind of... But I, I don't think we need that. We, we have a bed there. We can make a fire. First aid. No afflictions. We've got stuff, so that's good. Forage for wood. We can go outside and forage. The game doesn't make you go and actually go out and pick up sticks. The game allows you to just say, I'm going to spend this much time foraging. And you've got to bear in mind how many calories you've got left, how m the weather conditions. It might be a blizzard. And you don't want to go foraging for wood in a blizzard. Let's have a look at our equipment quickly. And go down to clothing. So, we have some gloves. We are not currently wearing gloves, so I'm going to wear that. Bonus 0.3 degrees C to warmth and wind chill. That will help. We've got some pants. Cargo pants in better condition than our cotton long underwear. Okay, so we're currently wearing jeans, which are not as good condition. The cargo pants do appear to be much better. Let's wear those. Move that on. We've got a fleece sweater. Or a heavy wool sweater. The condition is worse. Let's see, can I repair that? Repair. Required materials, cloth, chance of success, 80%. It will take us an hour to repair 30%. Let's try to give that a try. Okay, let's go back. We don't want to harvest it. Okay, so that is now, yeah, that is much better. We definitely want to wear the heavy wool sweater instead of our fleece sweater. We've got an insulated vest on, that's good. That could do with repairing as well. Can I repair that? No, I don't have any cloth. These jeans are pretty rubbish. Let's um, harvest them for cloth. Take us 30 minutes to just tear them apart. Okay, so now I should be able to repair these. There we go. It'll take us another 30 minutes. We'll repair 40% of it though. And that was successful. No, it wasn't. Oh no. What happened? That doesn't appear to have been successful at all. Okay, well. How are we doing on food? We've got some tins. 24%, 250 calories. So, we're not doing too bad. Five tins of coffee. Okay. Can I use this cupboard? Yes, I can. So we can store stuff in here that I don't want to carry around with us. Um, let's see. Got a couple of flares. Well, we're not going to be needing this stuff, I don't think. Put all that away. Put the accelerant away. Not planning on starting a fire anytime soon. Lots of matches. Put the jerry can away. Don't need the hook on us right now. Leave the rest of that. Could come in useful. Put some of this food away. Any clothing we're not wearing can also go put away. Bandage, lots of antiseptic. It's a bit weighty. There we go. Okay, so that's got our weight down quite a lot. And we'll just leave that stuff there. We could start a fire in the wood stove if we wanted to cook anything up. Have to get some supplies out. But we've still got some daylight, so let's head outside. We can sprint, but sprinting uses up calories. And one thing we've got to do is manage our calories. One thousand four hundred calories left. I believe I can see a deer in the distance over there. This is going to be a very slow paced game though. It's not about rushing around or hurrying. Oh, 
Oh, that's lovely. Looks really pretty. Looks very pretty. Okay. I hope this ice is nice and thick. Don't want to go crashing through into the water below. That would, that would suck something terrible. Ah oh man, look at the snow. I do love snow. In real life, I am a massive fan of snow. Okay. Maybe we could afford to run a little bit. Worry about losing the daylight hours. So we've got some buildings over this way. I can see a deer in the distance on the ice. These little shacks. I think these are like ice fishing shacks. Don't appear to have a door on them. Yeah, ice fishing hole, 100% frozen. I wonder if I can do anything with that later. I do have that hook. Seed of firewood. Burns with an aromatic glow but doesn't burn for long. Okay. A rifle round. Okay, that's kind of useful. Though I have to worry about the kind of person that just leaves bullets lying around. Cloth. Okay, that will come in handy for repairing stuff. Let's go through all these drawers. Another hook. Useful for fishing. Nothing up there. Plastic container. Okay, we can look in that. Thought that might be something we could take. Beans. We'll take the beans. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. A little bit colder now. Okay, I can hear the deer running away. Lots of little huts around Mystery Lake. We were on the train tracks earlier. I could see that there was a train that had rolled over. Like I say, there seems to be some sort of global disaster, hence why there's bodies around, derailed trains, and lots of snow. I assume it's seasonal snow, but I don't know. Okay, another building. Ooh, what's this? Water bottle. That'll be useful. Granola bar. Let's search this container. Work boots. They could be useful. I'm surprised they fit in that little container, but they could be very useful. Nothing else on the ground. Let's check the little cupboards and stuff. Line. Cardboard matches. 20 of them. Okay. So we've got line and we have hooks now, so we might be able to fish. I don't know if we need any bait, though. What have we here? More cloth. So... Our character is mostly silent, but he will occasionally speak up, which I think is a nice balance to it. It doesn't really give him a voice, but he does he does give it a bit of flavour. It's very quiet and peaceful here. I feel quite relaxed, apart from the fact I'm in a... you know, in the midst of a global disaster, possibly about to start starving to death. I don't know how long it's been since the disaster. We're a plane pilot who's crash-landed. So I assume it's recent, but it looks like there's a bit of fire here. Let's uh, hurry this up a bit. We are burning some calories, but... We're okay for food at the moment. Don't know how long that food is going to last us. Lake cabins. Well, these are cabins on a lake, so... Yeah, sure, lake cabins. Nothing on the ground that I can see to pick up. I suppose we'll have to check out these buildings. This one looks entirely burnt down, though. Is it possible to go inside at all? No, it's just completely destroyed. Little back porch area. That's, where's, the, where's the door? Oh, it's here. Not paying attention. Okay, we're in the cabin. See, so it's basically we're just kind of loot going around and stealing everything. Tin of coffee, excellent. Six tins of coffee. Another can opener that will come in handy if the first one breaks. Book for burning. There's a bed there. A little pot that I can't do anything with. Doesn't appear to be anything under the bed, but newsprint roll. Nothing else in there. Not a great amount in this building. Anything up on the shelf? No. No. 
Maybe it's already been picked clean. Maybe someone else has already passed this way. We don't know. It's straight. We found one body so far. Don't know if there might be other people around. Oh look, we can see our footprints. I didn't notice that. That is a lovely touch. I'm going to say lovely a lot. This is a lovely game. Okay, check out this hut. Probably want to check how much daylight we have left. Seven hours. That seems plenty. I was worried we might have to head home food. That was dog food. Don't really want to be eating dog food, but, um, you know, needs must. Now we want to make sure we're checking every corner here. Difficult when we're being blinded by the sun. Not very much. We're not seeing much here. Check this plastic container. More matches. We have got a lot of matches in the energy bar. And there's more matches there. Is there anything under the bed? Does not appear to be so. Okay, let's head it back out. Might want to check our stats quickly, actually. Have a quick look. 1200 calories remaining. We're getting cold and hunger and thirst are increasing. Thought I heard something then. Gotta keep an eye out for wolves. And bears. Playing on the medium difficulty level with a normal difficulty level. Should be alright. Shouldn't have too much trouble with wildlife. But they are going to be present and they will attack. They're going to get hungry as well. I can hear birds. That's actually quite cool. Let's see. How thirsty are we? We are quite thirsty. Let's um... We have some potable water. Let's... Yeah, let's have a drink. How much does that leave us? Not very much. I want to have an energy bar as well. Give us ourselves another 500 calories. Okay. Should be okay. I can't see any anything to threaten us. Looks like there's some more buildings on the other side of here. Some huts over there. Our house is all the way down there. I can just see the flag. That flag is very important. Otherwise I'd be at risk of getting lost. Two more huts or three? Two. And a burnt one. More lake cabins. So very quiet. You can almost hear the ice creaking. Crow feather. Huh. Okay, I don't know. I have no idea what I'd need crow feathers for, but um so there can be stuff just lying randomly on the ground. Ooh, like this. Fir wood. While not technically a hardwood, fir burns like one. I don't know if that's good or bad. Ooh, a hatchet. That'll come in handy. A small one-handed axe. Good for splitting wood. Can be used to hack meat in a pinch. Okay, so we have a tool. That is very handy. I almost walked completely past that. That was a bit of luck. Now, I don't know if that stuff is always there or if it's procedurally generated in some manner. I could use this. Yeah, soda. Calories and hydration. It's always good. Can't see anything up there. Nothing in there. Nothing around or under the table. What about under the bed? It's difficult to see through the beams of light. Being a bit blinded. No, nothing there. Okay, let's head back out to the great outdoors. I'm really enjoying this. It's so peaceful, but there's that subtle tension of, you know it's a survival game. You know, if you screw up, you're going to die. Checking the ground now, just to make sure I don't miss anything else I could pick up. wonder what I could use crow feathers for. I wonder if you can make a bow and arrow in this game. That's the only thing I could think that usually you would use crow fe yeah, well not crow feathers, but feathers in general. Fire log. Fire log made of chemicals and compressed shavings. Doesn't throw off much heat. Might be good for cooking. Well, no. Okay, well, we'll take it. I can't see if there's anything there, but I don't think so. Can I check this one already? I don't know. 
so many places to look and I'm so worried about missing something. Oh, there's a container down there. Tomato Hope soup. Nobody needs this anymore. Well, I don't think they need it more than I do. A fire striker. Metal tool designed to help start fires in the wilderness. We are pretty good for lighting stuff on fire. Spare hat. Condition didn't look great. Doesn't appear to be anything under there, does there? No. Well, okay, I'm going to call this episode here. I'm very much enjoying myself. So, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed yourselves as well. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.